Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ramya from Desi Girl 1010. So today I have a very very exciting video. I know all of you guys love watching haul videos. So I have a collective haul. So let's jump right into it. Basically the chest on where my nail polish collection is sitting and you have my makeup collection as well. So I thought this makes a pretty background but then I have to compromise a little bit on the lighting. I have just white bulbs on top of me right now so I might look a little weird and I'm not sure if you can see the products but let me know in the comments below if this is okay if this setting works then we can film more videos in this so let's go ahead and get started I basically visited Walmart, CVS, Target and Ulta and I have some goodies sent from India let's go ahead and get started the first thing is I will finish the stuff from India so it's out of um, the video the first thing is I've used these organic soaps that my sister sent from India uh, I had bought a couple of them with me and I really really loved them and I asked her to send me more so she sent me four flavors I have one in my shower right now and I absolutely love it I think that one is the lemon flavor and this is the mixed fruit and this is natural mint and scrub and this one is aloe vera aloe vera is my favorite the next is she also wanted me to try this cream from oriflame it's basically a boost cream that's supposed to detoxify your skin and brighten and uh, increase your fairness as well and Indian products are all about increasing fairness I don't know why I don't know why Indians don't accept their dusky brown sexy color I don't know why Indians are always crazy about getting fair but yeah that's how the cream consistency looks like and this is the jar that it comes in so that's that she also sent me a face pack by the brand Joey's this is an apple and grapefruit pack and it basically says it's a nutritious extract of apple apricot and peach so it's a face pack that you apply on your face it's basically a tube form so it's going to be really easy to apply on your face on your neck and then you can probably wash it off between 10 to 15 minutes of its drying. One more thing from uh, India. This is the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if you uh, saw my recent video where I did a tutorial. It's a get ready with me video for uh, the Indian. Desi outfit and wedding party kind of makeup so this is the quad I used it is a Lakme quad and your rush amazing quality I I don't know I was never a makeup person while I was in India my makeup interest started only about two or three years ago and it's growing and it's extensively growing this was probably around 500 rupees nominal there is no fallout the pigmentation is fantastic and see that you can see those gorgeous gorgeous colors right there amazing quality so I'm very happy with the pigmentation of this I probably will ask my sister to send a couple of more so I can try them and review them I know uh, a lot of my subscribers are from India and they do not have an extensive uh, reach about cosmetics like Wet n Wild or Elf or uh, not too many choices from Revlon, Maybelline etc. So I understand it's going to be really difficult and 
I will hands down recommend eyeshadow quads like this from Lakme. So yeah, that's the last purchase from India. Yeah, that's the last product that I got from India. Okay, the next is I have this Neutrogena uh, Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum. This is how the packaging looks like. I bought it from an online purchase from Walmart and this is supposed to be an eye serum that you uh, put uh, under your eyes you can use this under makeup or you can use this while you're sleeping also so I'm using this as my night routine that's how the pump looks like and that's how the cream looks like so you basically rub it in I'm rubbing it in uh, let me tell you one thing about this um, it's a very cold cream when you apply it on your skin it's it's going to feel cold and the first two or three days I found a weird smell in this cream and then I found a very very tiny amount of sting I'm not sure why that was maybe the cream was working on my skin I don't know switched back to our face wash uh, this is the Neutrogena liquid uh, face wash we were using the body shop face wash uh, the tea, tea tree line face wash I think I have a different video where I'm going to talk about that product so I'm, going, I'm not going to discuss about it here and then the next is we are running out of our shampoo and this is the suave shampoo with almond and shea butter I was looking for a good highlighter and I saw this one from Milani that's how the packaging looks like and you have this print so this is an illuminating face powder ultra smooth highlighter bronzer and blush so they market this as a multi-purpose product and I'm hoping this works for me. I've not yet used this in any of my uh, videos or tutorials or I've just used this once. I just swirled the lighter flower color and I just put it as a highlight on my on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and the uh, highest point of my cheeks. So, so far it's okay I don't see a huge difference I'm not sure if I'm not using the product right so yeah and this is in the shade 01 amber nectar I thought this was the best time to try, try these Milani baked blushes that's how the packaging looks like you've seen it I'm I think I'm the last person to join the bandwagon on these Milani blushes and uh, this is a shimmer blush Let me, the packaging is a little bulky for just one blush but yeah and the next is these Maybelline vivid lipsticks I did wear one of the lipsticks in my uh, videos if you have seen my favorite top five lipsticks for spring and summer it's a collaboration with three other lovely girls here on YouTube so this is shocking coral shocking coral in the shade 870 that's how the packaging looks like Next is this Maybelline vivid lipstick in vivid rose this is my favorite favorite 875 that's how the packaging looks like in the tube rose is one of the most wearable colors if you want to pick it out I think this color is definitely going to suit a lot of skin tones and it's definitely a wearable color no. I wanted to try a new foundation and I picked up the Revlon Colorstay foundation. I have not yet used it. I was waiting to pick up the Real Techniques Expert face brush so I could use this foundation. And I picked this up in the shade... Where is it? Oh, yeah. 330 Natural Tan and this is for normal and dry skin. I have dry skin if I've never mentioned it.
is this blush this was a very old purchase my husband actually bought this for me for valentine's day and i'm not sure if i talked about it in a in a separate video This is the Wet n Wild Berry Shimmer Blush. I see this as a perfect color for skin tones like mine and darker skin tones. This is going to complement really well. Unfortunately, this I have never seen it on the display in Wet n Wild section in Walgreens. At least my Walgreens, I have never seen this blush. I've only seen the uh, Heather Silk, Pearlescent Pink, and what is the other one? Mellow Wine. Yeah. So yeah, I think my husband bought this from Amazon or eBay. I'm not really sure. This was a surprise. I talked about it and I told him that this blush was missing from the line and he kept it in mind and he ordered it for me for Valentine's Day. So how sweet of him. Okay, the next is this Maybelline color tattoo. I've been, I've had my eye on this for a very long time and this is the 30 Pomegranate Punk. I would describe this as a deep magenta pink kind of color it, uh, it's definitely not a light color but I can see this as a very very wearable color for Indian occasions and Indian parties and weddings and get-togethers and um, a lot of people use these color tattoos as eyeshadow bases but I personally don't mind wearing them just by themselves so sorry guys the memory card is full the battery is low i am on the verge of uh getting the camera shut up so i'll quickly show you the last stop i made was at alta alta was having a 20 percent off so i picked up the real techniques expert face brush and i plan to do a demo reviewing both of these products and let you know if i recommend these to you guys i also wanted to try a nyx cream blush and this is in the shade gingerly i'm sorry not gingerly this is in the shade tea rose and that's how the swatch looks like it's a very very creamy uh, consistency blush and i've not tried too many nyx products so i'll let you know about that and this is the eco tools brush it's basically a rounded brush that's going to be perfect for setting your concealer so that's how it looks like and it says apply and blend concealer for complete coverage of problem areas so yeah let's see how this works for me so that's about it uh, this is a collective haul so all of the all of these products were not done in just one shopping trip that would be really crazy so let me know in the comments below if you like the background, the lighting, if you want to see any uh, in-depth reviews or demos of any of the products shown in this video and you can check all the information in the description box. You will have links to my Facebook and my Instagram. Please subscribe and support to me and I will talk to you guys very very soon. Bye!